Hey, Kevin. What are you getting all dressed up for? Working. I have, I have a treat for you guys, actually. Uh, and a treat for me, too. I have the brand new, not even released yet, AHP Alpha Tig, the, I guess you'd call it the 2016 version or the, the fourth generation, if you will, where they made, a, they made an upgrade. And oh boy, is it cool. Okay, if you look at it, you see, wait a minute, what's the difference? No, they didn't change anything. It still looks the same. Now nah, you gotta zoom in. So if you look right here, at the pulse control panel, you see, wait a minute, it's got these two rings going around it. And if you move over just a little bit and you look at the pulse control switch, you see, okay, pulse off, the normal pulse setting, which was uh, half a, a pulse every half second to five pulses a second. And now you've got this middle setting, which is um, mm, 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 10 pulses a second up to 200 pulses a second. So now you've got a high and a slow speed pulse function. Much better, much better. Let's go to the table. So got a special visitor in the house today. We got Jake here from Indio. He came over to visit and I roped him in to help him try out this new machine. So, Jake, what do you think? You want to try some aluminum? Yeah, sure. I'll try it a little bit. Okay. Throw your helmet on. I'll fire the machine up. You call out settings, and <laughs> we'll see what we get. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. So, Jake, I got you set up at uh, 155 amps on AC. You got the foot pedal. Make sure you use the right one, because there's two of them on the floor right now. Um, no pulse. 2T. And you're running, what, a 332nd tungsten in that one? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so 332nd tungsten. Um, let's fire it up, let's see what we get. Well, heck, that turned out pretty cool. Yeah, it did. Okay, you want to try the pulse? Yeah. Low or high? Uh, low, please. Low. Yeah. All right, let's change it to low. Uh, low, and we're gonna go um, 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 five a second? Yeah. Five a second, all right. Pulse, now the pulse base. So you, we're running whatever the foot pedal says, whatever your foot pedal is at, that's your welding amperage. Your pulse base amperage is going to be a percentage of that. Okay. So you want half of that amperage? Uh, yeah, about half be good. About half of that. Okay, so about half. Pulse time, uh, let's set it at half. Okay, let's try it again. Perfect. Cool. So so. So so. <laughs> Hell, it looks better than mine. <laughs> Thanks. Now, now, let's try the high speed. All right. So now at high speed, you're looking at 100 pulses a second. Okay. Still half of the amperage, and still half of your pulse width. You know, so the, 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 all the other settings are still the same. All I'm doing is going from low speed pulse to high speed pulse. All right. Okay. So let, let's let's do the other end of that joint and see what we get.
a little bit smoother, but a hot start. Yeah. But what do you mean by hot start? Get the point at it. What are you showing us here? Oh, right here where I started the arc at, it was pretty warm uh, compared to this guy back here on the yeah. uh, lower pulse. Yeah. Okay. So just for giggles, let's go ahead and max out the pulse. Okay. Get 200 a second. Run another bead alongside of it right. just to see what it looks like. Okay. Will do. Okay, so you've never used this machine before? No. Or, or any of these AHP machines? Nope. And how much experience do you have with TIG? Uh, about four years. About four years or yeah. so. And you work in a commercial setting? Yes. And what do you do? Uh, just fabricate uh, different sorts of things for uh, uh, basically high-end fabrication. For homes, yeah. restaurants, you know, big you know, ventilation hoods and yeah. you know, stuff like that. Okay, so you know what you're doing with a welder. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. So this is where you ran with no pulse. Uh-huh. And what, then we tried the, we tried the low speed pulse. Yep. And then we tried the high speed pulse, mm -hmm. did about 100 pulses a second. And then we went over to 200 a second, just maxed it out just to see what it would do. Yeah. So what's your, imp what's your impression on the machine, on that pulse? Um, not ever using a pulse before. I think it's really, really nice. Uh, I definitely like the higher the pulse rate. It makes the weld look a whole lot cleaner than obviously without a pulse. So, what do you think of this machine? I think it's a really great machine. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I definitely like the pulsing action of it. Okay. Uh, what kind of machine do you use at work? Uh, I just use a regular uh, 180 amp miller. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's just pretty standard and, issue. And, yeah, and, you know, and you've never run across these machines before. No. Mm -mm. This is an $800 machine. Wow. That was really, and, really And it welds, it welds like this. Yeah, that's uh, quite a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, we're gonna keep playing around here just a little more, and you guys are gonna go right down there on the bottom of this page and click that subscribe button for me. Don't forget to come out to my website, sign up for my newsletter, let you know what's going on ahead of everybody else. Cool, we'll see you later. Bye. So, this is where you ran with no pulse. Stop, stop. <clears throat> You're supposed to be faster. <laughs> I pay you to be fast. Yeah, yeah, I noticed <laughs> that part. Okay, oh, okay. oh, that's a different room. Okay, never mind. <laughs>